See, I'm trying to make it dramatic, you know? Like, oh, who is this mysterious man? Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Family Dynamics Challenge. It is bright and early, 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and we have Ashlyn making breakfast for the family. I had Vivian try and cook something, but she uh, came out pretty poor quality, so I thought that it'd just be nice if maybe, you know, Ashlyn did it. Also, her performance is so poor because of, like, that one bug where she keeps coming home every time Ashlyn returns a lot. So what I'm just going to do is have her quit her job. I'm going to have her be like a stay at home mom. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that they're going to be like aging up anytime soon. But I think that if she's a stay at home mom, then she can take care of the twins, you know, her pride and joy. And Dominic is making some pretty good money with the, his career and also the extra paintings that he's making. So, like, we're not too worried about money. And also, like, Vivian can still make music, you know? Like, she's not limited by, oh, her inability to make music. Or she's not limited by needing to be in the musician career to make music. Oh, cooking is delectable. Flip those pancakes, toss that sauce. Ashlyn is in her element. Does she want to gobble up this opportunity and embrace that she likes cooking? Of course she will. Also, look at how good that looks. Let me just, like, bring this to the table. And, like, anyone that's hungry can come eat some. That looks so good. Are you eating? No. Come grab some food. That looks so good. And then, like, look at most of the family. Where are you going? Ship on trendy. Okay, yeah, 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 that's right. I just told you to ship that stuff on trendy. That's good. That's a couple more dollars. We can also still do that when we're in um, in university. We can just set up a little trendy spot. Who? Alfaba, why are you here? And off screen, I even changed up Luna and Lauren's outfits. I think this is their like little winter outfits or their cold weather outfits. But, like, I gave them cute little haircuts. Pretty similar to what they already had, but just a little bit different. They're so cute. I gave them a couple outfits where, like, they're literally dressed the same. And a couple of them where they're, you know, dressed differently just because they are still, you know, two different sims. I wasn't sure if she had gotten any, like, traits from, you know, growing up. You know, like, the parenthood traits. But I guess she didn't, like, get within the like level or whatever the threshold to get any i like a, a a clean plate a tabla rasa i think i think anyways we're just gonna get her to have a little drink because that is one of the things that she wants to do oh my god dominic please help oh no you're off to work oh well you know what that's gonna have to be for later but what did you even grab kind of looks like a root beer float you know, I really don't like root beer. That's like one of the things that I just, uh-uh, do not enjoy. Nope, not my thing at all. Okay, I'm really hoping we get it, our acceptance letter now. Oh, oh my god, okay, 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 okay. We got it. All right, everyone calm down, but we got our university acceptance letter. The Historical University of Brightchester is pleased to offer Ashlyn admittance into the following degrees. Literally most of them. I think. Distinguished art history, communications, drama, history, language, and literature. Okay, so we didn't get a distinguished degree in culinary, but we will be going instead to Foxbury to get a culinary arts degree. Oh my god, man, our little baby's all grown up. Oh, even she's crying about it. Oh, I think she's like happy about it, you know? emotional meltdown okay well sure 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 i i don't know i feel like this emotional meltdown might not be like haha oh i'm so happy for you it's more like oh no i can't control you anymore anyways <laughs> yikes yikes i think so tomorrow we head off to university today are there, I wish I could like, how many of our friends are still teens? Okay, Kaori's a young adult. Okay, 
Kaori's a young adult. Good. Good. It seems like everyone else is, like, a teen still. So, we'll check back tomorrow. But I really would like for maybe, like, some of her friends to be, like, roommates in her college dorm. I already have it built. I already built it. Okay? It's... Like, literally the simplest thing I could come up with. So, like, don't judge it too hard when we get there. But this is so exciting. I, I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. So, I think it'd be kind of fun if we actually went out to brunch with Kaori. Just to, like, you know, check out the campuses. See what's up. See if there's any one cute on campus. And here we are at the Foxbury Institute. Oh, see, look, they have like a cute little thing over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Also, this campus looks so pretty in the fall. Can I take a selfie with Kaori out here? Anyways, there is Bako Jang, I guess. And there's, oh, there's somebody else over here. May Prescott? No. The principal from our school. Is the Spirit Squad member? Okay, we're just gonna like awkwardly walk over to the bathroom because uh, we're about to go. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool if we where is that thing that I just saw? Oh, there we go. We maybe get some university info, maybe about, like different organizations. So there's a let's see, University of Foxbury, the Foxbury Institute, which is where we're going. They have the robots, the spirit squad, and the brainiacs. Are there any sports that we can do? Scholar oh no, we already got we already got the info and scholarships. We're good. Let's maybe buy some university items. Cute. Why is it so difficult to find young adult Sims for my Sims to hang out with? You know. Also, maybe we go home now and then, or. <laughs> I really wish that more of her friends were like, <gasps> okay, so Greta is also a young adult now. But I really wish that more of her friends were young adults. Since it is our last day here with our family, because tomorrow we move into our university housing, maybe it'll be a good idea if we maybe like go out to like a restaurant or something. So I just grabbed the slot from one of those like pre-made lots that you get with the dine out pack. And I think we're going to have Vivian request like this table over here. Because I think that's a pretty good one for them to choose just because it's indoors and it looks pretty cozy. Especially with that fireplace nearby. So we just have Ashlyn and Vivian out here talking real quick. Having a little chat about... You know, being safe at school and, uh, you know, not to get too, like, close to anyone or, you know, to take your time. You don't have to get married quickly. You can do whatever you want. Aww. That's cute. But let's have you guys sit back down, please. And then we can get some food. So, we're gonna have Dominic um, order for the table. The bill might rack up just a little bit. Let's start maybe left to right. I think Vivian, Vivian's a coffee kind of gal. Definitely a coffee kind of gal. This being so close to after Ashlyn's birthday, she's going to try a little bit of, a little bit of spice, right? This fruity drink looks pretty good. And then we can get some orange juice. Oh, actually, can we get cream soda for the kids? That's cute. Now, in terms of actual food, Dominic's got to get a steak. I think Ashlyn's going to get a little salmon. Pepperoni pizza for one of the kids. And a cheese pizza for the other one. And I'm thinking some chili for Vivian. I think while Vivian's out of the bathroom, we can just talk to our daughter, right? Dominic can talk to Ashlyn about... Just, you know, offer some advice for her future. And here's the food for everyone. Oh, look at how good that looks. Oh, that looks really good. Look at how cute this little family looks. Anyways, everyone, it's 
time to eat. You can you can start eating now. Although, you know, I just now realized how weird the combination of a uh, chili and coffee might be. Let's also put these little placemats in their inventory. Cute. Oh my god, it's snowing outside. That's oh, that's so cute. This is just such a cute little, like, time for them. Even though, you know, it's been a little bit hard raising Ashlyn because of some of the influences she got. It's good to see that she's been so, like, receptive to everyone trying to help her out. Alright, it's getting late now, so we're gonna have Dominic come here and end the meal. Good, good, good. And then we can just send everyone home. So we're finally ready to start our university art. We're going to be attending the Foxbury Institute. She's going to be taking three classes, basic food safety, don't get sick, best buds, the science of taste, and meat cute. She will be living in the Briny Tower. She'll be dorming there with us. Or she'll be dorming. And... Luckily, she got some pretty hefty scholarships, meaning that we only have to pay 15 simoleons. First day of university is here, baby. We are all moved in, and we've got this sweet corner bedroom for Ashlyn. Not a lot going on in here, but that's okay. We can make it work. I wonder who's going to be our roommate. All right, let's put up a couple of the pictures that she has up on the wall cute and then maybe over time she can even invite some of her friends to visit see what it's like to be in university i do see some other sims out and about hanging out so maybe we go meet some of our friends All right some of the people living around in our dorms friendly intro are the only people living in this dorm like male sims <laughs> Or like masculine presenting sims because that's like the only people that are showing up. Although, it does look like all of them are young adults and therefore eligible bachelors. And I would like to add that Satoru does kind of remind me of Wolfgang. So, uh, not to, not to insinuate anything, but, uh, hmm. I think I'm going to have her take a quick little nap. And then we can go like out and about in the town. You know, for this being like her first time doing this, she's really good. I just want to see what like her score is going to be after this. Cause geez, she kicked the ball up to 60 times without dropping it. Also, it says that we want to make friends with our teammates. And I was looking in here and saw that you got that, which I feel like I just saw oh yeah no he's like literally coming up the stairs or down the stairs anyways let's ask to hang out go, 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 go. run fast speed walk over there hey you get that is please tell me that's him okay good 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 uh yeah nice good we can talk we can try and make friends with uh you get them and then they can even pass the ball between each other. Show off a couple of skills. And look at that. He's already our friend after we hang out for like a couple hours. That's pretty good. That's pretty efficient. I've called to inform you that your great, great, grand, second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away. What conditions are given? Oh, I know I said ring by spring in the last part. But we're actually going to wait a little bit to like actually get like a partner <laughs> why does everyone always want to be my best friend like calm down calm down okay calm down who the hell is around that could be causing such anger for you unless it's already you Kata. yeah yeah i hate when that happens though you know because like they'll come up to you like immediately like be such not even like great friends and then be like oh my god do you want to be my best friend and it's like bruh like our relationship is not that high calm down so while ashlyn is in soccer practice all of her roommates are in her room hanging out being creative i guess three of them are literally playing the violin and two of them are playing with that uh clay sure is interesting 
<gasps> oh my god. So, first day and Ashlyn has already been promoted to bench warmer. Dude, that's pretty good. I was able to get like the two other people on the team to be like pretty close friends just by texting them essentially. I think next term we might not be in a in a dorm situation <laughs> because uh oh god, there's just so much going on. To eat some more cookies because that's like the only thing. Also, she's like literally not even able to be in her room right now. It is early morning, 6.30 on a Tuesday. And I, Ashla needs some food. While we wait for, I guess, the food person to come in. We're maybe going to talk to Satoru. Discuss expanding the family. Girl, you've barely known him for two days. Breakfast opens at 7. Okay, come on. Come on. It's almost 7. And her class starts in an hour. So I would really like to get some like avocado toast. I really would like some breakfast. <gasps> no, get, get some breakfast. <laughs> get breakfast. Eat. And then you can get to class. Because if not, you're going to fucking die. I mean, not actually, but. <gasps> All right, go to class. Yeah, just take your avocado toast with you. My God, we're already late for our first day of class. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, she's got two classes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, well, Winterfest is tomorrow. And GeekCon is in town. That's fun. But yeah, no. Study a little bit of cooking. Because, like, you don't really have all that good of a skill in cooking. Even though that's going to be your major. I should have had her take a class in cooking. Like, one of those elective classes. To get her skill up. Dude! I don't want to be your best friend. What part of that do you not understand? Like, what part of this do you not understand? You're being, like, really creepy right now. I'm feeling lucky. And GeekCon is on. You want to try and win the festival contest? Yeah. Holly is one of the Sims that is in the soccer club. <laughs> I was going to say career, but it's it's not a career. But it's, she's in the soccer club with us. Man, I don't think she even has any skills that's going to help her here. What is it? Participate in a contest. Hackathon or the ultimate gaming test. Let's join the ultimate gaming test. I mean, we're going to do so poorly, but that's okay. I knew that we would be doing poorly. Or maybe, you know what? There's space at the hackathon. So let's do the hackathon. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, they built a rocket. And there's some... Co oh my god, could we... Wait, could we take a picture with one of these cosplayers? Take a selfie with a cosplayer. <laughs> Like, it's got to be dressed from someone from the Matrix, right? Oh, Ashlyn. Your poor little face. It's fine, though. I think we've kind of... We're going to head home because uh, I think we exhausted everything that we want to do. Also, she really needs a shower, like, desperately. And maybe some time to do homework. All right, go take a little shower, girly. You're struggling so much. All right, and then once you're done, continue doing some homework for some of your classes. Man, I really wish that there was like some party that we could attend because uh, if all week is going to be like this, it's not going to be fun. You know, unless we throw a party, why don't we throw a party on Wednesday? That sounds like it'd be fun. Oh, because Wednesday is Winterfest. Unless we do it Thursday, fr Friday, Friday, hmm. Okay, well, we have soccer like every single day, so it literally doesn't matter. And it's going to have to be after like 9 p.m., Mm, we'll see we'll see maybe not this semester but maybe like next semester we throw like a big old party because if like i said if university is just wake up do homework go to class eat the same cinnamon roll like it's just it's not gonna be a fun lp you know what i mean after class let's see we don't have another class for another four hours so we're gonna visit the commons why is it any time that i go to like try and get something to eat it's just not ready it's just it's not my time for some reason anyways i'm gonna have her do homework while we wait for the lunch to open up in a couple minutes and then we'll get her well obviously some lunch and then i think she has class at 3 p.m oh it's just so stressful oh my oh the holiday <gasps> a turkey dinner delicious man my elementary school would make like the most delicious like ham lunches ugh, for like holidays see that was a good time that was that was really good 
Oh, she says she wants to get into a relationship. Let's let's pin that for now. Okay, we'll put a pin in it to see if it actually ends up working out. You know, we can we can look around and see if Satoru is good. Good for us. Okay. And then it's the end of class today. We're just going to introduce ourselves to as many sims as possible. This is like the first time I've ever had someone who is like an outgoing sim. He is a cute sim, I will say. That is a cute sim. Um, but we also have soccer in a little bit, don't we? Yeah, we've got soccer in like a couple minutes. I will say though, I'm pretty proud of Ashlyn for like doing pretty good with her skills. She's got level 5 in Charisma and Fitness, and then she's gotten up to level 3 in Cooking without, well, cooking. <laughs> and of course, we'll have an early sleep again, just because uh, it's kind of difficult to not sleep early. <laughs> I remember when I was in college, and like just uh, having these days where you only had like one class or like an early morning class, while it was really difficult to wake up for them. Because I had to commute like half an hour. It was just nice to be done with class early. Because that gave me the rest of the day to do, well, the rest of my computer. <laughs> I mean, sorry, the rest of my homework. You know what? I think, I think we should go out with Satoru. Yeah, I think we maybe try romancing him a little bit. See if that does anything. Hey, Satoru, are you single by any chance? Oh, you are. Oh, well, see, there's just so many things that I admire about you. And I really just want you to have a good day. And I was maybe kind of thinking if, if by any chance you're interested in women. He just walked away from us. Maybe he's got to get to class or something. Because, oh my god. He just walked. He, he, oh my god. He doesn't even have class. He's just walking away from us. To be on the computer? You could have at least you could have at least like responded to my question on whether or not you were interested in being in a relationship okay so he is attracted to women which means he could be attracted to me unless we're just not that attractive to him okay okay i think we're finally getting somewhere let's ask him on a date let's just see how a date goes okay yeah i'd be okay with holly being my best friend my bestie <gasps> Ashlyn and Wolfgang have fallen out of touch and are lo no, no longer best friends. Yeah, that sounds about right. They better not be. Bruh! Do we- Okay, it kind of seems like this man might just be Wolfgang 2.0. You know what? No, he reminds me a little bit too much of Wolfgang. We're gonna find someone else. Okay, we're gonna ask someone else out. Because, oh my god. But, like, there's no other, like, attractive men on campus. Because that's that guy we keep seeing. That's an elder. I think he'd look better if he didn't have the green hair. Why is this so difficult, you know? Why is finding love as a young adult in college so difficult? It's like the universe doesn't want my sim to find love. I feel like Ryo could be a lot more, could be a lot better looking if he just didn't have that haircut. But you know what? Let's send him a flirty text. Let's see what happens, right? There's literally like no op- Oh, I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. All right, I just quickly changed up his hair. I think this looks a little bit better. And like, frankly, frankly, we could get a little romantic. First of all, let's ask if he's single. Because if he's not, it's not worth it. Okay, he is single. Looks like he's ready to mingle. Not too bad on the eyes. And definitely receptive to our romance. Oh, things are going well. Let's ask him on a date. Um, But we're just at this little bar in... Windenburg. I mean, you just spend a little bit of time flirting and, you know, telling of stories. We could even talk about marriage. See, you know, if he's interested in that someday in general. It doesn't have to be with us, but, you know, just ask. Just wondering. This date might end up being cut a little bit short because of, a uh, well soccer practice here in a bit but i would like to get that kiss out of the way well not out of the way but uh, you know i would like to see the chemistry between them because for some reason it looks like she's talking to this guy see i'm trying to make it dramatic you know like oh who is this mysterious man oh everyone's clapping that's cute oh it's a very awkward encounter oh 
Wait, we can make out. We could just go into that closet on the side. Can't we? I guess not. Anyways, I've got soccer, but that was a good date. That was a cute little date. Let me know what you think of Rio in the in the comments down below. Or do we even want to try again with Satoru? Like, what are we thinking? Do we stay single? Or do we continue to stay single? Because uh, Ashlyn has that single and loving it lifestyle. Well, it's in progress, right? But she also has the whim to get into a relationship. So, interested to see how that goes. Oh no, where's my food? Hello? <gasps> They're closed again. Okay, that's fine. We'll go to the commons. <gasps> hey! What's up? Okay, bye. See, it's always like that with Satoru. His messages are just so unclear. I think when she's done eating... Oh my god, you're back! No way I can't be your best friend, dude. You literally keep ignoring me. You literally keep ignoring me. Like, any time that we try to have a conversation, you just leave, my guy. So, of course you're not going to be my best friend. Like, hello? <laughs> hello? Anyways, I think this is a good place as ever to stop the episode right here i hope you all have had a good time with this episode i've paused aging just so that we can you know not struggle with people aging up in university but i'm excited to see where this chapter of ashlyn's life goes anyways let me know what you think here in the comments and i hope to see you all in the next one Bye guys! <laughs>